Hey, I'm Johnny from Johnny's Motorcycle. And what we have here, we have a 1975 Z1. I got this from a friend and uh, needs a little bit of work. Uh, it's got 23,000 miles on it. Meter brackets broken. Uh, I think it needs everything. But it is all in one piece. I uh, got the original tank, however, the tank has some holes in it. So it's kind of interesting. But anyway, uh, not going to do much with this. There's holes right here. There's a hole. And... So this bike sat outside for a while. Rear sprocket sh shot. Um, needs some work but the frame looks good and uh, front end looks complete here's the motor over here I don't see any broken fins on the motor there's a, there's a couple marks here on the cylinder uh, obviously this all has to come down I think uh I think we're going to get started up, then whoever wants to do something with it can. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to degrease it first, we're going to take this motor apart, see what's going on with it, and then we're going to have a basket case uh, we'll put together probably as a running project motorcycle. I've got the cams over here, this bike must have sat for a while. Because here's the cams. The cams don't look good at all. So uh, we've got a lot of scrap metal here too. What we've got going so, on here is what we normally do. This is this expedites our process. Is I spray it down with S100. It's like probably 25 degrees out right now. So we're going to try to get this over with. But I spray it down with S100. You can adjust it right here. I like it so it kind of gets wide. So I really, really, really like to really lay it on here really good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get everything with S100. It brings it back. Uh, we've been using this for a while and we kind of like it. And so we're going to spray the whole bike down. And then we're going to take uh, some SOS pads. And we're going to, anything that's that's chrome or aluminum, we're going to SOS it down a little bit just to bring it back to life if we can. So this stuff gets everything. I mean, it gets it. Look at it, bring everything back to life. Like the decals. Now what we're going to do, when we start washing this, no matter what, we're going to, we're going to make sure that these decals here don't get sprayed off with the power washer. It's really important to keep these decals. Let's see how nice that looks. Look how filthy. Okay, so we may have to do this more than once because uh, i got a funny feeling this bike's been sitting for a while. So I'm doing this. I'm going to get the crew. They're going to start SOS and everything down. And we're going to have one happy family at the end of the day here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now that we've got the SOS on it, uh, th this is the first initial step towards cleaning the bike. So we're going to take the power washer now and spray all the S100 off and get some more of the grease and stuff off and crap. So uh, Kenny's going to fire up the machine. Hopefully. Here's our dirty, filthy 75Z1. This is what this is the second step in cleaning it up. As you can see, we use the S100 
And look how nice everything came out for what it was. The aluminum is going to be okay-ish. Fork tubes are junk. Front fender's junk. And I don't think there's anything to do with these headlamp ears. I could probably come up with a headlight bracket. This doesn't look too bad. So what we're going to do here is we're going to attempt to... We're on the fence. We don't know what we're going to do. We're going to try to either kind of clean it up as a decent runner or we're going to put it or we'll just get it running as is and have it be a running project bike. Hey, we got some more progress here on the Dirty 75 Z1. When we got it, the motor was stuck. So what we've done is we got it all freed. We put new rings in it. Um, the motor looks pretty good. We've got this on just as a dummy for right now. The got a little tiny nick here in the cylinder from years gone by. So we're starting to put it together. Now what we've got going on is we're we put our powder coated mounts on with our replated bolts like we normally do. Same with back here. I didn't have an extra one of these in stock, so we put the old one back on. So, so far everything's looking pretty good. We had to put together a set of carburetors for it, which we're gonna have rolling here pretty soon. Here's a bunch of uh, stuff that we're gonna use out of this box here for the cam rollers and cam chain tensioners and everything. So, um, I mean, just for example, we're doing this here and like this is the brake pedal that came off it so we're going to replace it with a really good used one to make it look like a nice uniformed unrestored bike come to the front of the motor here right here you can see how nice the the bolts are and stuff you can see we have a new gasket here it's still a 903 cylinder so i've got if you look over here we have a paint job we took off a bike a long time ago it's not original paint but it's kind of similar to original paint so this is a good looking tank the tank is mint on the inside it's nice real nice we're gonna put that on there I have a, a fender that's a lot better than the one that's on it because you can see the one here has got some issues chrome coming off this fender's not perfect. It's got a tiny, couple of tiny blisters here, but not bad. And I don't really see any road rash. So this is going to be the substitute fender. The tail section, which matches the tank. And it, and it does resemble the Z1. And it is the right tail section because it's really thin there. So now I've got to come up with a seat. Um, we have the side covers. I got to come up with a set of emblems still. And then, um, like, as you can see here, the, this is going to be the oil pan that goes on it. We wanted to take the oil pan off and stuff because we're always paranoid about how it looks on the inside. And then, of course, we took the clutch apart. And we're going to go through all that. We're going to replace the, the cover there for the starter. And just uh, uh, for comparisons, this is the this is the brake rod that's going to go on it, and this is the brake rod that's coming off of it. This uh, replated stuff definitely makes a big difference when you're doing these bikes. So our intentions are: it's not going to be a restored bike. It's not going to be a show winner, but this is going to be a nice everyday rider where the motor's going to run, the charge system's going to work. And it's going to have turn signals and a decent seat. Uh, we've got uh, the the cylinder on with the pistons. Starting to make a little headway here. Change a little bit of the hardware. Got a little bit better stuff here to put on it. Uh, we have a replated brake rod. Cleaned up the stabilizer bar. Yeah, you know, I mean just little things like this is what we're going to be doing. You can see how we're replating the the arm here that goes to the brake switch off the pedal just little things like that we'll put a different spring on it we're trying to leave this as an unrestored everyday rider 
or this could be something that somebody wanted to, to work on or something. So we don't know where we're gonna go with it all for sure, but anyway, if you come over here, now this bike sat for a long time, so we obviously had the cylinder off, it's got new rings. Now we had the, this came to us as a basket case, and these were the cams that we found in a box for it that came with it, so got a little bit of difference there here. So we're gonna obviously can these cams. So we're putting a, a set of really good used cams in it. The cams that came with it were really, really dirty and rusty, so we, we kind of get rid of those. And then we're putting some really, really good used valves in it. And uh, Kenny's just done a valve job on it. And uh, we're putting good used buckets in it where the buckets weren't so nice, they were pitted, and here's all the stuff that goes with it, the springs, inner, outer, the collars, everything. So we kind of just want to show you where we're at with this and what our intentions are. Now, uh, to, to look at the bike, if someone wanted to restore this in time or just ride it, uh, it'd be your option, but you know, if you look over here, the metals, the aluminum's nice. It's really nice. So, um, I I think this would be a good running bike. We're not exactly sure what exhaust we're putting on it. We're coming up with parts day by day. And we're kind of building this out of spares that we had laying around. We now have the heads, the head ready to go with the cams and everything. So uh, the we've got it. So it should be shimmed about right. And so we're going to put this all together and. Uh, so we're on the bike and the valves are all sealing. We did a valve job on it. Did all the seats, the guides seemed like they were good. So we're gonna run with it and see what happens. Okay, uh, the Dirty Z1, we're getting ready to fire her up. Um, the uh, motor's all together, the carbs are done. It's looking pretty good. So basically we're done from here back. Course we're gonna put body parts on it it's gonna be pretty cool we've got to do here down but anyway after a while we just kind of wanted to hear it run so uh Kenny's gonna fire it up for you headway the important thing is we know that the charging system's not working so it's either going to be the stator or the regulator rectifier we do have a new battery in it so uh, we're gonna look into that then um, we're going to pull these carbs down a little bit and make some adjustments so we get it to idle down so uh, we've not checked the transmission yet but we will so couple problems we have is uh, we get to do a little more work to the carburetors and fix the charging system as well as everything else so it takes a lot of time to do these there's uh, always something going on but uh, we'll get her fixed okay thank you uh, got the pipes on and everything and then we turned her around and we're gonna we had some issues with the front end where the bearings are shot and everything so now as you can see here we've got powder coated lower clamp, a painted upper clamp, got new bearings, the new Timken bearings from All Balls, moves nice, got new pinch bolts, new uh, bolt here with a washer which we make, we make all this stuff actually, and here's the bolt going across. Um, so this is gonna be nice, real nice. And as we talked before, the wiring looks pretty nice on it. And also, uh, now that we have a chance, I can show you the frame, how beautiful it is. Beautiful. This is all beautiful. Really, really nice frame. So what we wound up doing was, after we put all this together, we had some issues uh, with the forks where we had some pitting on them. And I really, you know, there's nothing, there's nothing you can do here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 
I have found a nicer set of fork lower legs and tubes. Put them right here. So we're gonna put these, we're gonna clean these up. This is this is a grease and stuff. So we're gonna clean these up. These are pretty nice, much better than what was on it. Lower legs are nice. So what we're gonna do is we're obviously gonna change the fork oil. And these are our, our handlebar clamps also that go on here. So these, the top clamp has been powder coated and these are our bolts right here. Very nice, very, 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 very nice stuff right here. This is nice. So anyway, back to the forks. We're gonna put these on. We're gonna put our uh, Spectro 10 weight fork oil in there. And we get these fork seals from Parts Unlimited. These are pretty good. So we're gonna put new fork seals in it. And these are our dust caps. Well, I guess you would call them dust shields. And they go right here. So I guess out of those. And then we have a brake rotor that's much better than what we had on it. So we're gonna put new tabs on here and replated bolts. This, this actually, this rotor is really nice. The rotor, the rotor that was on was kind of bad. So if you look down here, you'll see the difference on the cleanup. I mean, th this is gonna be a nice cleanup. Little difference there. Okay, and then um, obviously here's the difference here. Uh, we had some Continental tires we had for it. So here's the old wheel, and here's a wheel that we laced up now it's a very good used Takasago rim and believe it or not the spokes were used that we took out of a bike a long time ago so we're kind of putting this together with some pretty cool parts so here you go side by side there's a little bit of difference here I'll spin this around so what we're going to do is we're going to take the hub cap off and put it on here but that's the difference in uh, the wheels Wheels make a big difference here, and we lace in true wheels here. And uh, one other thing you, you have to look out for, on this side of the bike right here where the speedo drive comes, you got these nubs. And a lot of times these, these uh, nubs here get worn down. This is, this, is, this is like a nine on a scale one to 10 at least. But these get worn down and it's not a good thing. So we've got that going. Now we've got really good used headlamp brackets. So we're gonna put these in place of this one and this one. So I'd say we got a little difference here and a little difference here. So we'll probably put that one in the garbage and we may save this for a rainy day. So I just thought I'd show you what we're, how we kind of put these bikes together. Now keep in mind, we're not building a show bike here. So we will, we will test drive the bike at least 100 miles before we sell it, just to make sure everything is good. The motor runs great. So this will be a nice rider for someone just to ride every day, or this would be a great one to restore because it's got some really, really, really good parts on it, including uh, the original style battery cables and got a uh, and n filter in here. They got the original grill here on the airbox. So there's some good parts here. So uh, we just always show you what we like to do. We have a passion for bikes that aren't restored. So I hope you like this and uh, We'll continue to show you some more photos as we progress. Thanks. So one of the reasons why we're building these bikes like this is we see that the Z1 market's gone crazy. So we're in, our main purpose is to build this so it's affordable for the average guy to be able to go out and ride. And if you like it, you can bring it back sometime. We can restore it. We're kind of behind on work a little bit right now, but uh, this would be a good one for uh, this is a nice project, or you could really have some fun and be a very, very nice sound investment to say the least. I think these Z1s are gonna be good for some time to come. Okay, thanks. 
we've got the we've got the motor in it. It's running good. Uh, we've got the seat on it. I want to show you a few things about the seat and the body parts. It's not original paint. Uh, this is a stock Z1 seat pan. This is a good candidate. Now we make these pins right here. We make that. You see we have some uh, a powder coated tool kit. Uh, we've got the hardware and stuff replated and stuff and we put some cables on for the battery. A lot of things go into these when you're not really looking so uh, we just kind of want to show you where we're at with it. Now we're going to the moment of truth is here we're going to test it and see if the transmission's good or, and stuff and uh, we know that the charger system's not working so we're going to put a Rick's electric regulator rectifier on it so of course we're going to hook up the lights and stuff now we put the we put these chrome covers on these are genuine gauges however the gauges weren't nice here the tachometer is not holding its own so depending on who buys the motorcycle i'd recommend getting the gauges rebuilt both of them the speedometer does work the the uh trip meter works however the tachometer sticks so i just kind of want to talk to you about that a little bit so you can see we had the wheel done the fender is not perfect but it's still pretty cool got a little little noogie right here sort of got new fork seals no new fork dust covers got new screws here i believe it's got new bearings yep. and the seal and the rim's not bad a little bit of pitting here but not bad fork legs are still a nice natural finish the, it's got new tires on it and uh, we have the we, we laced the we laced up that rim with these spokes of that hub that we had we're in the process of rebuilding the front brake on it and everything now the steering dampener bracket has been busted off right here some people use that some don't but keep in mind we're building this bike i'm going to try to put 100 miles on it before we sell it however we're just building this as a project bike to be restored or something pretty cool to ride around because these z1s are starting to get expensive now but anyway we're starting to come up with some foot pegs for it and stuff i don't know how we're going to finish that off but a lot of nice replated stuff so kenny's going to start it up here real quick and we're going to watch him ride it up down the driveway i hope we've not tested a transmission have the clutch apart so it does seem to go in the gear nice and now we're going to test the gears make sure they're all there second gear can be weak on these at times that's got them all okay. regulator rectifier on it just to save any troubles so we don't have to diagnose it um, but we are going to it does have a new DID chain on it which seems pretty cool and um, it's got a new sprocket on it Kenny says um, new spokes in the rear uh, we're not done with it yet but we hope to have this done next day or two at the most and I'm going to be test driving it we put a, a new reproduction master cylinder on it that we carry here at our shop and it's got the grips that are reproduced they're on there 
and actually the switches and stuff are still nice and detailed and one other nice thing about it is the key this is a new old stock key with the lions on it that's a new old stock key very hard to find okay well we're gonna we'll see where we're at with it and uh we'll we'll show you some more videos soon thanks okay this is our bike we called the dirty low down when i got it it was really dirty so starting at the front it's got a new set of continental tires on it we we laced up this hub to a good used Takasago rim. This is all replated stuff here. New screws for the hub cap. The, uh, it's got new fork seals, new fork dust covers. We replaced these. We came up with a better front fender, but the front fender is just a little gooned right here. I mean, it's okay. Um, the bike is not perfect. Uh, little tiny rust spots here. The fork uh, ears are nice. It's got the powder coated headlamp on it. I'm gonna put a rubber plug in there. Everything works on the bike. Got a nice headlamp rim. Steering bearings. The, it's got new Timken style steering bearings in it. Bunch of replated bolts. Uh, the front brake caliper has a new piston. And pads. It's got new brake pads. This is all replated. This is new stuff here. It's got a bunch of new cables. It's got some new, got some new hoses on it. It's got a reproduction master cylinder on it. It's got uh, fresh meter covers. It's got powder coated triple clamps now. This is all replated sh shields here and stuff. The gas tank's been cleaned out. Nice shape. It's got new handlebar bolts. It does have a new key, number 755 Lion Head. That was a new old stock key. These are getting kind of hard to find. It's got the bands on it. It's got new handlebars, new grips. The mirrors are used. Switches are genuine. It has the R clutch uh, cable adjuster on it. The cables are all good on it. The carburetors have just been redone. Got the stock air box. Got the decal here for changing your oil. Here's a little fin damage right here. And a little one right here. Uh, something you could live with, but we just thought we'd tell you about it. We did replace the charging system with a Rick's regulator rectifier it has on there. So that's a nice added feature. We did change the chain and sprockets on it. This is on a Z1, you've got the hole in the lower triple clamp. Here is where the there was a bracket that came out. For whatever reason, that's chopped off, and I don't know why but it's missing there so uh, it's uh, it's where the the part of the steering stabilizer goes there so it bolts into the lower clamp then it goes to here so that's been kind of boogered and I don't know why uh, it's got new rings the timings everything's been gone through the clutch has been pulled apart and gone through the body set I've had for years we finally just used it the, of course, oil change and everything. A lot of replated stuff. This is all replated stuff. It's got a new kickstart bolt. The exhaust pipes on the right side are for a Z1. The pipes on the left side are for a KZ900. They're not matching, but they look pretty good. It's got all new rubber grommets. I uh, hold the side covers on and stuff. It's got a replated spring here. This is all replated. This is all nice stuff. It's all correct. Uh, got a Pingle fuel valve on it. The seat cover is a little gooned right here. You can see where it's been sewn. This uh, 
looks pretty good underneath here. It's got a new battery. It's got new reproduction battery cables on it. It's got a Canon air filter. It's got the tool tray and everything right here. Nice tool tray. A lot of hardware is nice. I think these foot pegs are off of a KZ900, but they'll still work. It doesn't have a chain guard on it, but I'm planning on putting a chain guard on it. As you can see, there's a 76 stamp here on the on the uh, pipes. So the bike's not quite ready, but it will be ready here momentarily. So the rear wheel has uh, new spokes. The rim was pretty nice. Hub looks pretty good. Spins nice. All the brakes are rebuilt. Everything works. Um, this was a rack I had laying around the back. It's got a little bit of scratches on the side. Everything's pretty good on it. Now, keep in mind, I wanted to build an affordable Z1 for someone. Most, most of these bikes are, are kind of going for a lot of money now, we've heard. So this is an affordable one for someone. This could be something you probably ride all summer. We have to sell it as is, but we are checking everything. The charging system's good, the brakes are good, all the lights work. Um, you know, on the gas tank here, we got a little some marks here and there. This is not a perfect motorcycle, and I don't want to represent it as a perfect bike. However, it runs great. Starts, shifts, stops, everything is, is happening the way it's supposed to. So we're going to be offering this thing on the eBay so everybody's got a fair chance of buying it. So let's start it up and see where we're at. Now, the f I'm starting it on reserve right here. It's right in the middle. You got plenty of gas? Oh, yeah. You can run it on if you like. This is our dirty low down 75Z1. And I believe the mileage to be correct. 23,370. And it, you know, we were, it's all basically original stuff. This would be a nice bike to restore. The frame's absolutely perfect. There's there's no troubles here. The frame's perfect. Um, so I'm gonna fire it up for you. We can hear it. The bike is cold. So I'm gonna turn the choke on, press the button.